Hi, this is Al again. So I'm gonna do uh, an update on the on the battery uh, maintenance. Uh, I turned off the um, uh, the charging from the solar panels yesterday. Uh, actually, I didn't turn off the uh, charging from the solar panels. What I did is I turned the breaker back on to put the house back on uh, commercial power. Uh, so right now the breaker is on where it says magna sign. And when I turn it off, it simulates a power failure, so it transfers automatically to solar power. Just to see what the state of my batteries were. Uh, it's really hard to see here. Uh, well, I guess I better not show that, but uh, at any rate, uh, what I wanted to show you was now that the batteries are fully charged, let me go back over here, you can see that there are 27.8 uh, volts, and there are full charge, there's zero amps uh, being drawn out of it. So now if we go to the battery yesterday that was really low on specific gravity and we take another specific gravity reading from it, we'll see that they are now good. So um, these batteries are in fact pretty good. Uh, I'm going to put them through a cycle of uh, um, equalization uh, charging just to make sure that uh, uh, that I take care of any uh, particular sulfation because the uh, uh, the battery life saver that I have here uh, is not strong enough to handle that entire uh, battery pack which is made up of 10 uh, deep cycle batteries so what I did is I'm gonna combine I combine both of these uh, uh, both of these um, uh, trays together and uh, both of these battery banks together and they're in parallel with each other 24 volts here 24 volts down there and I order a forklift uh, type uh, battery desulfator to put in place which is uh, perfect for uh, something with such a large capacity I have over uh, 5500 uh, reserve amp capacity between these two so uh, this desulfator is a little too weak, but as you can see, uh, the specific gravity for my on my batteries are just perfect now. Uh, so now we'll grab the uh, the cap one more time, and uh, we'll put it back in here. Push it down, lock it in place. Yeah, this is getting in the way here there we go now we'll go ahead and lock it in place and now they're good to go so I should be able to now uh, go ahead and uh, turn off the breaker here and we should be able to see this go into the, the house go back to uh, full solar power and what I'll do is I'll go through a cycle or several cycles of uh, uh, discharging at night I'll come in in the morning I'll turn the breaker back on which will force the built-in uh, battery uh, charger here. There's a built-in 55 amp uh, battery charger built into these magna sign inverters. Uh, so what that'll do is it'll put an equalized charge on those and I'll do uh, probably about a week or two worth of cycles on that and it'll, it'll take care of any sulfation that might be in the place and, and restore the batteries to whether it's fully all the way up to the top on the green section. So let's go ahead and kick that off and uh, you're going to be able to see it right away. I'm probably going to point here and you'll hear the breaker uh, and then you'll see, there we go, and then you should be able to hear uh, the breaker go off and see how fast it actually changes over. One, two, three. There you go, it's inverting right now. So uh, nobody in my house ever noticed that the power went out and that we went from a, a power failure to uh, to the point where we're inverting. So right now, uh, all the circuits in the house are drawing 16 amps uh, from this battery bank at 27 volts. Uh, it's climbed up to 18 amps. And it'll do, I'll do that until I get up tomorrow morning. When I get up tomorrow morning, I'll turn that breaker on again, force this guy to go into an equalized uh, charge, which will, fo uh, which will force any sulfation on the plates uh, to go away until I get my new uh, forklift size uh, battery desulfator put in place and then I'll keep that one in reserve for my regular vehicle batteries. So that's the, uh, that's the update. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope it's been helpful to you and I hope you learned 
you know what the specific gravity does when the battery is in the you know or what it tells you about the uh, state of charge on a battery and the condition of the uh, the overall condition of the battery. So thanks for watching and God bless everybody.